Stuberg. Okay, so food texture, the science behind chewing, right? So I'm going to give you the claim. I'm going to give you the evidence this time. You just do the reasoning, right? So here's the claim. Not only do we chew because we like it, but we may chew because our bodies know that it's good for us, even if we're not aware of it. Here's my plus reasoning right here, right? This is because chewing can help make us healthy. See how that's a big picture reasoning? That's not really in-depth yet. So then here's the evidence I pulled from, but I'm going to go ahead and here's what I did, right? So I got my quotation marks there. I put in yellow my actual quote that I pulled from up here, just word for word. I just set it up, right? There's my Swedish study, right? Studies are good evidence. Numbers are good evidence. Experts are good evidence. So a Swedish study found that old people who could chew hard foods had considerably lower risk of failing mental faculties. It means they stayed smarter longer, right? Researchers also found that chewing increases blood flow to the brain. It's not in there, but they also found like if you had false teeth and you just kept chewing, right? Blood flow to the brain, you stay smart longer. All right, here's what you got to do. Give some reasons. How does this evidence right here prove the claim? What does this evidence mean? I gave you some hints in there. So for instance, how does this evidence prove that not only do we like to chew, but it's good for our, our bodies and our minds and it keeps us healthy? How does this evidence prove that? Put it in your own words right there. It goes right there with the reasoning. How does this evidence prove your claim? What does this evidence mean? That's it.